Hi, Grade 6. This is a quick video to tell you where you can find your feedback for your infographics today. Um, I worked really hard on um, giving you specific feedback in a video format, and the videos are actually screenshots of your infographic itself, where I show you how to do things and uh, review expectations with you. So I'm not going to show your specific infographic. I'm going to show you the example given with the um, with the assignment on Google Classroom. So I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to my Google Drawings. And um, this is what your template originally looked like. Some of you um, might not see these resources on the side, but those are actually for you to use as you're creating. The canvas itself, some of you were a little bit confused. Um, the canvas is actually this long vertical canvas here, and you can tell what's the canvas and what's off the canvas because the canvas is, um, or what you're drawing on actually has a checkerboard, okay? And if you right click, you can go ahead and change that background color, okay? So um, there are two things on here for you. One of the things I want to stress is that as you're working, you'll have to zoom in and out of your infographic um, in order to work properly. Okay, so you'll have to use a zoom tool here. Um, there are two things that are important on here for you. There are buttons that I created for you with links. One of those links is your Google document um, that I want you to look at, which is the infographic checklist, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind. I did not give you the checklist before, and that was done on purpose, because I just wanted you to go for it and see what you did, okay? Um, and there's another link for your video feedback. Um, when you click that link, it will actually, um, your Chromebook will show up as <clears throat> um, needing to allow um, Adobe Flash, okay? So there will be a link that appears in the middle of your screen that says get Adobe Flash, and you'll have to click that, and then there should be a pop-up that says allow um, to play the video, okay? So you do have Adobe Flash on your computers, um, on your Chromebooks, so you just need to click that allow button and to allow that video to play. And I made these videos using an app called Screencast Jane. Okay, so um, take a look at the checklist, take a look at the video feedback, and um, keep creating. Keep using these template as references, these template sites. Um, make use of the icons, <clears throat> make use of the Epic book set. Remember that, you know, I've collected a few books for you um, on Epic that have to do with our topic of activism, which is essentially someone who is trying to spread awareness, a message, an idea, um, or a cause using um, using sort of peaceful ways of doing that, um, but they're trying to do that for the greater good, okay? And this could look like a lot of different things. It could look like somebody who is making a speech to thousands of people, or it could look like somebody picking up trash on the side of the street at home in their community, okay? Um, right now we have a lot of activists that are um, making masks for people um, <clears throat> and using a lot of their free time right now to help make masks for medical workers, for grocery store workers, um, and for essential staff. So um, remember that activism does not look the same for everybody, um, but if, if you're working toward a cause, or you're working for the greater good, you are an activist, okay? Um, so check out that checklist, check out the video feedback, and don't forget the resources I provided on the side here. Um, <clears throat> don't forget as well to use these picture resources and the same as we would in a blog post, put your photo attribution, okay? But I can't wait to see what you create um, and look at my feedback, listen to it, and apply the feedback, please. All right, that's all I've got for you today.